All right. Uh, now, um, like I said, we saw you out there, you know, coaching up one of your girls <laughs> out there, and it was. It, I mean, seriously, it was great. And how do you, um, how do you balance being a demanding coach, a comforting coach? You know, I mean, obviously, some kids, you know, need mm-hmm. a little bit more. Some people need a little less. You know, you know, different pampering, whichever. Um, go ahead and elaborate on that a little bit. You know, I think the the most important thing is knowing your kids. You know, and I mean, even when you are, when I go away and I work with other kids, I do, I still do camps all over. Um, it's really getting to know the kids, getting a feel for what their personalities are. Like you said, some kids need to be pushed. That's what they, that's, that's how they, they work, you know. Um, and then other kids um, need to be coddled more, you know what I mean? Um, and it's funny that I coach opposite spectrums in this gym. I coach the youth team. It's a youth level three team. So that means level three is mid-range. I mean, they're throwing more advanced level skills, um, but they're very young. Mm-hmm. The youngest kids in our gym pretty much are, some of the youngest kids are on that team. Um, so, you know, you would think that that's the team that needs to be coddled the most. And I love you and I hug and it, no. You know, those kids <laughs> are, are more, we're going to, th- we just don't care. We're not scared of anything. We're going to do everything. So, you know, it's, I have to be a little stricter with them. Mm-hmm. Because cause they're younger and they need to, you know, they, they need a little bit more tough love, I think. And then you, I have my senior four team, which, I mean, they can be up to the age of, of 19, mm-hmm. 18, 19. And um, a lot of them are, you know, you think that because they're older, they might be a little, they have more stamina, they might be a little tougher, but they're not. You know, some of them actually, you know, after they have a hard practice, I find myself calling them before I call the younger kids' parents. They just wanted to tell you, you know, I know I was hard on you today, but... And then we have to have a conversation. This is why I'm hard on you. More of a, you know, you have to have more of that, a personal relationship with some of that age group, um, you know, because they're older and they are more emotional, I guess, sometimes. And, um, and then I also coach the International Five team. And the age group, the age ranges from 16 to, or 15 to, I think the oldest is 33 on that team. Oh, wow. So, and most of the coaches, you know, the coaches that work here are on that team, and I want to choke them half the time. <laughs> and, and they are, I mean, I think, you know, most of them feel like they're they're on your level. Hey, we're your peers too, so you so have to coach be much. Andy's, so you coach Andy's coach. Andy's coach, yes, <laughs> exactly. So I got to be a lot stricter with them because you know they feel like we need to know that you know your stuff. We do what you do, so you know uh-huh. what I mean. So I have to flex a little bit more muscle on them, I think. Yeah. But uh, it's it, you just you really just individuals. You have to know your uh-huh. kids. And when I do, I'm a very different person when I coach my team than I am when I'm teaching a private lesson. Mm-hmm. Um, the young girl that you saw out there is. Uh, and she's awesome, this kid, Caitlin. And um, when she, when I first got here, she had been taking classes and stuff here before. She had broken her arm, and her arm was broken severely. Um, so it took a little while for it to heal. But when I got back here, she had just gotten back into tumbling, and she was very, very afraid of it. Um, she is clearly much stronger now than she was before. You know, we work a lot on building up her muscle technique. She, if you ask her today, she would tell you at that moment when I first got here, she probably would have never seen herself upside down, flipping, back walkovers, round up, back handsprings, back handsprings. She didn't even think she could do it. But helping her to build up her own confidence and her muscles and things like that, that's why when I'm with her, we, we joke a lot more. You know, mm-hmm. you, you, I think you heard me say, yeah. you know, some jokes and yeah. stuff to her because yeah. that's, you know, it. although I'm tough on her and I don't let her give herself a break. You know, you get water after you do what I ask you to do. Then at the end, you know, we still joke and we, you know, I make fun of her crazy legs sometimes and things like that because I need her to know that although I'm tough on you and I want you to do certain things a certain way, we still are going to have fun here because right. I know that she had a fear before. I get a lot of kids that have mental blocks, mm-hmm. um, which is, you know, sometimes one day you just, you, you might, something bad might have happened or you might have slipped or you might have fell or... Um, maybe you had a dream that you couldn't tumble and then the next day they come in here and it's literally like they've forgotten how to tumble and it's fearful because some of these kids are have been doing it their whole lives and all of a sudden they they are afraid Um, so I get a lot of the kids that have mental blocks and I just work to work them through their mental blocks and again those kids again need more um, a sensitive approach and and let's go back to the basement and figure out why it happened and you know it's more analytical than a kid that's just like I just want to do this girl you know and they're more (laughs) motivated um, then you can kind of be a little stricter. So you really just have to know your clientele. Uh-huh. You have to know your kids, and um, and you have to care. You know, you got to care about them enough yeah. to take the time to get to know them. So that's great. I tell you what, Wolf. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. so much for your time.